John Moore reporting for SportsMore.com from the Scotia Bank Center. Carson McKinnon joining me here. Carson, maybe you can start by talking about the first three months of your season. Uh, the first three months, I started off a little bit slow. Uh, you know, I was kind of a fourth line player, but as the as the year got on, I got more confident and uh, I've been working hard. So right now, I'm trying to earn my ice time, and uh, yeah, I've been working hard. Okay, what uh, what do you want to accomplish here in the second half? Uh, another three months to your first season. Uh, second half, I'm gonna focus on getting stronger and uh, quicker. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna focus on getting stronger, and um, I'm not gonna have too many expectations with points. You know, those will come, but uh, I'm gonna focus on being ready for uh, my next year. And yeah. And that uh, I think that includes getting stronger and getting getting bigger. Yeah. You're gonna address that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, strength will be the key over summer, I think. With strength, all the other aspects for hockey will come, like the speed, the shot, and stuff like that. But uh, Right now, I'm not, I'm not the strength that I need to be at. And uh, over the summer, hopefully, I'll be able to get at that, uh, at that point. He's a tremendous uh, kid, uh, John. Uh, he was so little and so light when he we come when he came with us uh, this fall. But uh, he step up. He work hard uh, on and off the ice. And uh, we had Ryan as a his bro uh, with uh, Lewski, and uh, for us, it's a, it's a kind of legacy. So uh, we're very happy to have him. Fourth in the fourth round. Um, wh what was so attractive about about Carson? When we're looking at that kind of player, uh, we're looking for his hockey IQ, his smartness on the ice. He, see, he sees the ice well, and we also look. We take a special look at the family supervision. For us, it's most. Right now in 2016, that's, that's the way we're going to do it. Because the parental advisory is so important for us. Uh, that's why we can expect that the guy will step up and be a good kid, be a good person. And that's work hard. We need a good work ethic and good hockey sense. And that's, that's what we, we, we bout with him. What type of player do you hope Carson McKinnon yeah, develops in. honestly, he can do anything on the ice. Uh, right now, he's playing on our two, our second wave of PK at 16, and uh, he got a couple of power play waves uh, sometimes. But I think he will be able to do all all the things we are, we're asking for, and uh, he, he's a complete player. He's got a handful of points, and I, we don't measure players by points alone, particularly no. coaches. But, but uh, do you? I know, and he's got a pretty good hockey IQ. But do you, do you have the sense that over over time that he will contribute offensively? That's for sure. He's, he's not playing right now on the power play most of the time. He's playing in PK, and and we're gonna we're gonna be patient with him. But the last three games, John. He was matched with uh, Boland in the medal and uh, Grise, a guy from the Midget Triple and that was our best line on the ice. So for us, uh, that's a good thing. With the trade, now that the trading period is over, your 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 roster's set. Do you think he gets more opportunity, more ice time in the second half? Yeah, we have uh, most than 12 players who didn't play in the queue last year. So Carson is one of them, and at 16, I think with Voyer. That uh, that's our uh, younger younger kids with us. But if at 16 they not play, we won't play them. We won't use them here. They will play in the major triple A. We want them to play, not to watch the game. And that's why they are close to be all the time in the in our lineup, day after day, night after night.